Today, I will be talking about my research on the 3D trajectories of locomotory movements of mice and extensions of it that have applications in the field of astrobiology. A defining characteristic of all living organisms is their ability to make controlled movements at either some part of their life cycle or throughout their entire lifetime. Movement is a component of behavior that is critically important to survival. Whether it is to get from one place to another, to find food, escape predators, or find a mate, it is an essential component of all of these behaviors. In mammals, movement reflects the function of the central nervous system. In fact, even minor changes in the internal states of an organism, either physiological states such as some illness or emotional states such as fear, are reflected in movement. Therefore, it is highly likely that even minute changes in the functioning of the central nervous system manifest as changes in movement. It was the need to navigate complex environments that led to the formation of the very first centralized nervous systems. In fact, enriched environments are known to enhance learning and promote intelligence, even at the level of the individual. These changes can then be passed to the next generation through epigenetic changes that will manifest themselves in future generations. Here, I refer to the physical environment that the organism exists in. Broad examples from our planet are aquatic, aerial, and terrestrial and underground environments. Gravity is a general property of the environment that critically influences the movements made by an organism. The physical state of the environment, that is, whether the environment is solid, liquid, or gaseous, also profoundly affects the strategy of locomotion that an organism will adapt. Further properties of the environment, such as pressure and temperature, are also important factors that influence the modes of locomotion. Moreover, properties of the environment immediate to the organism such as friction and three-dimensional shape of media in the environment, and minor fluctuations in temperature and pressure also impact the modes of locomotion. Therefore, the scale at which we need to quantify the complexity of the environment is at this scale, the scale of the immediate properties, because this is what necessitates robust navigational strategies. And this is reflected in the variability of movements that an organism makes. Therefore, there is a need to quantify the correspondence between environmental complexity and movement complexity. Ideally, I would like to quantify this correspondence between environmental complexity and movement complexity. And this would allow us to use environmental complexity to ascertain what types of organisms may exist in a given environment. But in order to do this, we also need to quantify movement complexity. There are many reliable behavioral models. However, many behavioral studies make use of highly artificial and reductive conditions and lack the resolution to capture more complex natural movements in three-dimensional space. Therefore, movement complexity in three dimensions is highly understudied. In my research, I am interested in quantifying movement complexity in mice. Therefore, in order to study complex movement with a high level of precision in freely behaving mice in three-dimensional space, our lab has developed the first marker-based 3D motion capture system adapted to observe mice. We use seven high-speed, high-resolution cameras to record the 3D trajectories of retroreflective markers that are permanently attached to the skin at strategic locations on the body of the mouse. This gives us 3D movement trajectories recorded at a rate of 300 frames per second with a resolution of 200 micrometers, allowing us to see details of mouse movement at an unprecedented level of precision. Previous studies in my lab used this methodology to observe mice as they performed different tasks. 
even the simplest of tasks, the movement of a mouse walking in open field involved highly complex movements that were hard to quantify. Therefore, in order to start simple, in my research, I aim to quantify the complexity in mouse movements as they locomote on a treadmill at constant speed. By observing the mice using the 3D motion capture system as they locomote on a treadmill, I obtain highly resolved 3D movement trajectories. Here, you can see a 3D reconstructed video from one of my experiments. I make use of tools from dynamical systems theory to quantify the variability of these movements. I first transform the 3D movement trajectories into an animal-centric coordinate system. This is depicted in the schematic here on the slide. I then embed these movements by making use of the singular spectrum analysis method of embedding, which uses windowed principal component analyses to embed the trajectories. This provides me with the right coordinate system to visualize the movement trajectories. Here is a plot of a singular spectrum analysis embedding of the trajectories of the mouse limbs. It provides me with well-resolved step cycles. And it is already apparent from this that there are two large classes of step cycles. But also within these two classes, there is a lot of variability. And this is exactly the complexity that I want to quantify. I then compute the recurrences in the movement trajectories in order to find the different types of step cycles. So I do this as follows. I would first consider one point in the trajectory and then find all the neighbors of this point. That means I find all the times at which the trajectory basically returns to the same neighborhood in space. And then I would do this for all the points in the trajectory. Hence what I get is a recurrence matrix where I have basically the recurrences associated with each point on each row. Therefore, the scales of this plot represent the different time points of the trajectory. It is in frames over here. And all the parts of the plot that are in white, they signify parts of the trajectory that recur. That is, they return to the same point in space, but at a different time. And in this recurrence plot of the mouse hind limb trajectories, we can also see that there are two different step cycles two different classes of them. But within these two different classes, there is still a lot of variability. And this needs to be quantified, this complexity. I will now quantify the complexity of these trajectories by making use of information theoretic measures of complexity. I will be making use of two main measures, the effective complexity and the total information. The effective complexity measures the information needed to describe the regularities in the data of a given system. While the total information can be used to describe fluctuations in the data. Therefore, the next steps in my work are to compute these mathematical complexity measures for my data. Once this quantitative framework has been established for the simplest of cases, a mouse walking on a treadmill I can then extend this methodology to study mice moving in more complex environmental settings. I can then use my quantitative methods to compute movement complexity in these different settings. Additionally, I can use these same mathematical measures of complexity to quantify environmental complexity. And this will aid in establishing the correspondence between environmental complexity and movement complexity. To summarize, I want to quantify movement complexity. I do this by making use of a 3D marker-based motion capture system adapted to observe freely behaving mice. This gives me 
highly resolved movement trajectories for the first time that enables us to quantify movement complexity in 3D. I then make use of tools from dynamical systems theory and information theory to obtain a comprehensive quantification of movement complexity. And then this can be used in establishing the correspondence between movement complexity and environmental complexity. So even the simplest of movements, a mouse walking at the same speed is super complex. It's more complex than we initially expected. And in order to quantify this, it is necessary to study 3D trajectories. With this, we can establish the connection between movement and environmental complexity. Therefore, in conclusion, precise measurement of 3D movement trajectories is necessary to unfold the complexity of behavior and therefore also the complexity of the environment in which the behavior occurs. I would like to thank the members of the Neuronal Rhythms and Movement Unit at OIST for their invaluable guidance throughout my research. And I would also like to thank the Biological Physics Theory Unit of OIST for all the useful discussion and guidance regarding the quantitative analyses involved in my project. Finally, I would like to thank the organizers of AbgradCon for giving me this opportunity to present my research. I am Lakshmi Priya Swaminathan, a PhD student at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology. I work jointly in the Neuronal Rhythms in Movement Research Unit and the Biological Physics Theory Research Unit at OIST. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions, you may contact me by making use of the contact details provided in the QR code. Thank you.